Assalamu alaikum and uh, welcome to another session of Natural Resource Management and Planning. My name is Dr. Neil Salman and by now you know my name because for the last 28, uh, yeah, for the last 28 lectures you have been seeing me. Today we are uh, on 29 and there are just few lectures to go and then the course is going to be concluded. Well, so far we have uh, covered quite a lot quite a diverse topics I believe and today lecture is also something that is very pertinent what's going happening to uh, what's uh, is happening nowadays in Pakistan and uh, if you have seen the year 2014 and 2013 has been quite crucial given that we have worked a lot in one of the areas and that is energy but still, Pakistan is facing a lot of energy crisis and the problem has not been solved. But fortunately, a new thing happened that we got the new energy policy La last year. Uh, today, we are going to analyze a little bit about it. But uh, before we proceed, let me just uh, have uh, the recap that what we did in the last lecture. Uh, in the last lecture, that was lecture number 28, we covered about uh, climate change. Uh, sustainable well-being and we did the case study with reference to uh, Sugar Valley and uh, I'll again connect it with what we are going to do, do today we saw that in the northern areas the energy uh, demand and supply there is a gap because deforestation is occurring and now the communities are cutting the forests and they are using the wood we have the we had the mixed views with reference to energy because given that the architecture has now changed and now they are not using the mud they were using the cement and they were using the bricks and one and the traditional or the older people have this view that given that the architecture material has changed so therefore what it is uh, pushing towards that the consumption of wood is now higher now they are uh, cutting more uh, forests because now it requires more wood for uh, it requires more wood to heat the house because now it's not the mud so that is one of the points on the other side uh, if you look at the overall climate they say that the northern areas are becoming warmer and if they are becoming warmer so you don't need that much of heat so it's a mixed uh, view and uh, uh, we can see that energy is becoming one of the important issues. There are some of the studies which have been carried out which talk about that the more we are going towards renewable energy, it uh, gives uh, more uh, economic growth. So that is also one of the hypotheses that exist. On the other side, if you say that are we energy deficit country, yes, Pakistan is one of the energy deficit countries and uh, in the past uh, four or five years we have seen uh, quite a shortage of energy which has impacted a lot in terms of the economic growth our if you have uh, if you have kept your eyes open jitni bhi 2013 ke andar conferences hui you will be amazed ke not a single conference was basically uh, had a theme uh, which was not energy every single you know every single conference every single workshop has been on energy amira jo stance uh, before i dig deeper into the lecture today i say ki aapne energy ke andar you have done so many publications you have done so much research every single academic ne janab data diya and they have run the regressions and they are coming up with these policy implications on the other side if you uh, look at, uh, the, apart from the academics, if you look at this uh, engineering side, I know a number of engineering universities have been working upon Giri solar panels, up kisna kar sakte hain, wind energy ko aap kaise use kar sakte hain, biofuels ko aap kaise istamal kar sakte hain. So, 
every other university has been engaged in the kind of uh, research and development with reference to energy theek hai academia mein professors ne janab energy pe bahut zyada paper likhe i also wrote two papers uh, one was energy and economic growth in uh, nexus and another one was uh, hydrogen economy now the question is that uh, uh, the bigger question rather i would say that comes to the point ke when you have published so much work when you have done so much engineering on it when a lot of private companies are talking about ke ji hum energy pe kaam kar rahe hain still we do not have the solution the problem is that we are not tackling the problem we are just adapting to the problem ab hua ye hai that yes the consumption climate change ho raha hai wo whether uh, climate aapko warmer hota ja raha hai the demand for air conditioners is increasing the demand for uh, these fans have become more aapka jo architecture hai wo change ho gaya hai theek hai we go for green building glass up laga rahe hain lekin temperature itna zyada andar buildings ka rise ho jata hai that you still need the higher एयर कंडीशनिंग सो बात वहीं पे आ जाती है जहाँ पे आप एनर्जी सेविंग की बात करें दैट वी वोट बी यूजिंग दैट मच ऑफ लाइट ओवर दर यूर यूजिंग लॉर्ड ऑफ लॉर्ड ऑफ कूलिंग सो दे आर फॉर द क्वेश्चन कम्स के हमने प्रॉब्लम को अडेप्ट हमने प्रॉब्लम के साथ अडेप्ट करना शुरू कर दिया दैट वी थिंक दैट ओके इफ यू आर नॉट गेटिंग इलेक्ट्रिसिटी अगर आपको हाइड्रल एनर्जी नहीं मिल रही तो लेट्स गो फॉर the generators let's go for ups let's go for uh, any other sort of uh, energy uh, pro energy solution which just solves the problem at this point of time uh, load shedding there are areas where it's more than like 12 hours more than 16 hours where things are life has gone stagnant over there uh, a core study hui in lahore that people are becoming the patients of depression ठीक है ना अब जहां पे ऐसी सिचुएशन आ रही है आप जस्ट टू हैव लुक आउट फॉर सोल्यूशन एट एन इंडिविजुअल लेवल व्हाट वी आर डूइंग इज दैट वी हैव बॉट दीज जेंस वी हैव बॉट दीज यूपीएस वी हैव बॉट दीज इन्वर्टर्स वी हैव बॉट दीज rather than looking into the bigger picture कि किस किस्म की एनर्जी में भी स्टार्ट एक्सप्लोरिंग द न्यूक्लियर एनर्जी फ्यू वीक्स गो आई वॉज इन इन इटली and we were having this uh, energy mix ki upar hamari training ho rahi thi and uh, if you meet the people for if you meet the physicists who are working in nuclear energy they say well that is one of the safest and the clean energy carbon emissions hai nahi so let's go for nuclear energy if you look at uh, what happened in japan and how germany has rolled up their program they are not talking about nuclear energy and they don't say that nuclear is uh, something that we should be working on they have uh, completely given up but पाकिस्तान के ऊपर वेन वी सेड के वी वॉट इज द चीपेस्ट एंड द लॉन्ग टर्म अगर हम उसका देखें तो दे सर वेल वाई डोंट यू गो फॉर न्यूक्लियर एनर्जी सो देर आर ऑप्शन बट अनफॉर्चुनेटली हम मे बी इन द थेरी फॉर्म तक हम रहते हैं लेकिन वेन इट कम्स टू द प्रैक्टिकल इम्प्लीमेंटेशन वी आर नॉट इम्प्लीमेंटिंग इट एज मच एंड इट इज गोइंग टू हैव अ वेरी नेगेटिव इम्पैक्ट अपॉन द जी डी पी ऑफ पाकिस्तान सो दे फॉर लेट्स मूव ऑन कि हुआ क्या ड्यूरिंग ऑल दिस टाइम एंड वॉट वी आर वर्किंग एंड वॉट काइंड ऑफ सोल्यूशन वी आर लुकिंग सो आई वॉट आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट इन दिस लेक्चर आई बी लुकिंग इन टू पॉलिसीज हमारा क्योंकि काम ये है दैट पॉलिसीज बन चुकी हैं क्या गैप्स हैं किस तरीके से उसकी इम्प्लीमेंटेशन है वन इज अ नेशनल एनर्जी पॉलिसी एंड द सेकेंड वन इज योर रीन्यूएबल एनर्जी पॉलिसी ये दो पॉलिसीज आई वॉट रोल दे हैव बिन प्लेइंग कौन सी बॉडीज हैं विच आर रिस्पॉन्सिबल एंड वॉट इज द स्टेट एंड गवर्नमेंट के डिफरेंट एरियाज में किस तरीके से हमने एनर्जी के इशू को डेल्ट किया है लेट्स मूव ऑन टू द फर्स्ट वन इफ यू वॉन्ट टू हैव अ बेटर लुक आई हैव यूज द करंट इकोनॉमिक सर्वे ऑफ पाकिस्तान विच गिवज यू द मोस्ट पर्टिनेंट इंफॉर्मेशन इफ यू आर doing your research with reference to pakistan so pakistan's uh, primary energy supplier heavily depends on the imported crude oil agar hum hamari balance of payment dekhe uske the one of the biggest uh, uh, jo component hai that is the crude oil and petroleum products because of the low production capacity of crude oil and natural gas theek hai that's a pretty obvious fact but during the year 2012 hum aaj net प्राइमरी एनर्जी सप्लाई थी वो क्या थी सिक्सटी फोर थाउजेंड सेवन हंड्रेड एंड ट्वेंटी सेवन थाउजेंड टोर्स कंपेयर टू सिक्सटी फोर फाइव फाइव ट्वेंटी टू टोर्स लास्ट ईयर 
and we posted a growth of 0.32. However, on average, growth rate of net primary energy supply remained 1.8% for the last six years. Pichle Chhe Saal said it is almost the same. Ab, energy jo outrages hain, it has hampered the economic growth of Pakistan for the past few years. Agar aap energy consumption kya, agar aap dekhe hain, to ye, this is a pattern like sub se zada we are using uh, gas. That is 44%. Like these are the numbers or these are the figures that you should remember if you are going into a policy dialogue, if you are developing any uh, policy, if you are working with the, in the energy sector, you should know this energy mix. So 44%, what we are doing, we are using the gas. Then 29%, we are using oil. Oil ke baad, then we are using 16%. Uh, the third highest is our electricity. The coal is 10% uh, or LPG ajati or 1%. So this is our energy consumption. Okay? So in order to develop any policy, always look at the consumption patterns. Okay, the consumption pattern mein humara sab se zada aata hai gas ka, then oil, then electricity. Ab agar wohi mein aapko baat bata raha tha that we have developed this hypothesis between growth rate of uh, GDP and energy consumption. In dono ke dharman, if you see, there is a very uh, correlation. Uh, these ones are aapka jaise jaise GDP आपका कम होता जा रहा है या जैसे जैसे आपकी जीडीपी कम होता है जैसे जैसे आपकी एनर्जी कंजम्पशन कम हो रही है वैसे वैसे आपका जीडीपी भी कम हो रहा है सो so 5.5 5.0 फिर 0.4 और आपकी एनर्जी कंजम्पशन बिल्कुल नेगेटिव में चली गई और 2013 तक इट्स अगेन हैज फॉलन डाउन फ्रॉम 4.4 टू 3.6 सो दिस इज बेसिकली now let's move on to the critical component we as students of public administration we have to work upon that what has been the energy policy of Pakistan. Energy policy of Pakistan has been formulated and is determined by federal, provincial and local institutional entities in Pakistan which address the issues of energy. What uh, issues are the issues of energy production, energy distribution and then consumption of energy such as gas mileage and petroleum standards. We are talking about this when we are talking about the energy issues. Now, energy uh, policy requires a proper legislation. It is basically proper legislation. We need to sign up for the international treaties. What are the subsidies and incentives to investment and guidelines for energy conservation, taxation and other public policy techniques. ये चीजें सारी आपकी energy policy के अंदर cover होनी चाहिए now let's see क्या cover हुई है या नहीं हुई अब क्या हुआ कि uh, there is a very good paper by Gilani and uh, he published it in 2010 what it says that several mandates and proposals have been called over the years to overlook the energy conservation अब उनमें से एक initiative क्या लिया गया आपकी government ने उसने कहा जी neon signs were banned and official weakened was extended from one day to two days in an attempt to conserve electricity. Uh, it's not just uh, Sunday that should be a holiday. Saturday, Sunday should be so that your energy consumption commercial areas and offices can be ho. And then they also banned the, your uh, neon signs because of energy consumption, electricity consumption is more than then, in order to reduce the electricity load uh, used by the industrial units by 25% during the peak hours, but no comprehensive long term. We are just looking into the short term. Presently, we are energy shortage ko ke problem ko We are not uh, looking into the long term perspectives. Our we have long term energy strategies. We have uh, long term strategies implement. Uh, in 1999. Uh, many legislative provisions were adopted for energy conservation, including seeking energy from various renewable energy sources. Of 1990s, may rather 1999 may, and now this is the Musharraf regime, where we are talking about kiji apka energy consumption and uh, sources hain. Wo ab, let's move on to other forms of sources, and there is also an intense. Criticism. Kispe hota hai over the unequal distribution of energy. 
unequal uh, distribution of energy was a criticism of. then uh, the irresponsible usage of energy resources and the country's new uh, uh, new plan which is aimed to raise country's dependence upon imported oil for power generation uh, to 50% by 2030 so we have a bahut criticism aapko milega lot of newspaper clipping lot of uh, journal articles you remember about the jo hame 2013 ke andar ek maniac behavior tha that every other institution was uh, gearing towards energy so what uh, criticism they were being criticism on these present government policies फिर क्या आता है आफ्टर मच ऑफ द पब्लिक क्रिटिसिज्म जब बहुत सारा क्रिटिसिज्म हुआ लॉन्ग टर्म एनर्जी सिक्योरिटी वाज अनाउंस्ड जब लोगों ने बहुत सारा क्रिटिसिज्म किया फिर हमने 2013 हजार तेरह के अंदर भी अनाउंसड आर नेशनल एनर्जी सिक्योरिटी पॉलिसी ठीक है थ्रू द इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ इक्वल कटिंग एज एनर्जी ट्रांसमिशन नेटवर्क इसमें हम हमने क्या क्या डिस्कस किया एनर्जी ट्रांसमिशन नेटवर्क मिनिमाइजिंग द फाइनेंशियल लॉसेज अक्रॉस द एनर्जी सिस्टम एंड अलाइनिंग द मिनिस्ट्रीज इन्वॉल्व इन एनर्जी सेक्टर के कौन कौन सी मिनिस्ट्रीज थी कौन कौन से इंस्टीट्यूशन है इनको सिंक्रोनाइज किया जाए इनको अलाइन किया जाए फॉर द बेटर गवर्नेंस ऑफ एनर्जी रिसोर्सेज नाउ स्टडीज एंड पॉलिसीज हैव बिन इम्प्लीमेंटेड रिकमेंडेड ए ई डी बी ए ई डी बी आल्टरनेटिव एनर्जी डेवलपमेंट बोर्ड वाटर मिनिस्ट्री the nepra regulates the energy resources uh, network as well as determining the financial prices for the usage of energy ye hai aapke institutions now uh, if we look into the government part government specific energy efficiency in, uh, incentives programs also play significant role in overall energy policy of pakistan uh, 2013 ke andar prime minister nawaz sharif has announced and determined an aggressive energy policy to meet the energy challenges and energy management अनाउंसमेंट्स बहुत हुई हैं नाउ विच आर द एनर्जी अथॉरिटीज एंड इंस्टीट्यूशन उसमें सबसे पहले आप क्या आते हैं गवर्नमेंट के गवर्नमेंट ऑफ पाकिस्तान में दर इज मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ वाटर एंड पावर एंड देन दर इज आल्टरनेटिव एनर्जी डेवलपमेंट बोर्ड ए ई डी बी देन इन द इंडस्ट्रियल इंडस्ट्रियल एनर्जी सेक्टर वी हैव इलेक्ट्रिसिटी सेक्टर इन पाकिस्तान एंड इलेक्ट्रिसिटी इन पाकिस्तान uh later on uh, we are going to talk about energy and power regulatory authorities uske andar aapki do aa jati hain water and power development authority that is wabda and nepra national electric power the regulatory uh, uh, regulatory authority or energy corporations ke andar janab aapki aa jati hain energy electricity and energy corporations in pakistan and your kesco uh, kesc uh, karachi electric supply company अब बैकग्राउंड क्या होता है वी मूव ऑन फ्रॉम 1960s द लार्ज सिविलियन एनर्जी इन इनपुट एंड इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर वाज बिल्ट बाय पाकिस्तान मिलिट्री थैंक्स टू देम विद द फाइनेंशियल फंड्स कहां फंड्स कहां से हमारे पास है डिफरेंट कंट्रीज ने और डिफरेंट इंटरनेशनल मॉनेटरी सोर्स ने दिए और पाकिस्तान मिलिट्री ने आपकी काफी एनर्जी के लिए इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर बिल्ट ऑन किया फिर 1960s के अंदर मोस्ट ऑफ द एनर्जी वॉज प्रोड्यूस्ड बाई द हाइड्रो इलेक्ट्रिक डैम्स हमने डैम्स काफी आपके आ चुके थे और थर्मल पावर स्टेशन थे दैट इज द सिचुएशन टिल नाइनटीन सिक्सटीज नाइनटीन सेवेंटीज के अंदर क्या हुआ आपकी एनर्जी का जो कंजम्पन पैटर्न था दैट हैज एक्सपेंडेड ऑन न्यूक्लियर रिसोर्सेज न्यूक्लियर पावर सोर्सेज एंड एस्टेब्लिशमेंट कमिश्निंग ऑफ द फर्स्ट न्यूक्लियर पावर स्टेशन इन कराची सेवेंटीज के अंदर हमारा आता है फिर 1980s के अंदर हमारा क्या आता है दैट डिपेंडेंस ऑन न्यूक्लियर सोर्सेस फर्दर ग्रू एंड द मिलिट्री कंटिन्यूड इंजीनियरिंग एंड बिल्डिंग द न्यूक्लियर पावर इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर फिर से आप मिलिट्री को कर रहे हैं अब 1994 के अंदर प्राइम मिनिस्टर बेनजीर भुट्टो ऑफ पाकिस्तान पीपल्स पार्टी लॉन्च द कंट्रीज फर्स्ट एवर एंड लार्जेस्ट एनर्जी कंजर्वेशन प्रोग्राम एंड वॉट वॉज दैट क्योंकि हमने थर्टीन thousand megawatt and issues 70 mous and letters of intent to independent power producer so ipps aapke aage hubco wagera this was the situation and this is in 1994 1994 ke andar energy policy brought decisive shift in pakistan's diverse energy resources ab in 1994 आउट ऑफ द टोटल इंस्टॉल्ड कैपेसिटी जो कि हमारी 11,000 थाउजेंड मेगावाट की थी यानी सिक्सटी परसेंट ऑफ द एनर्जी वॉज प्रोड्यूस बाय हाइड्रो इलेक्ट्रिक पावर सोर्सेज और फोर्टी परसेंट वॉज प्रोड्यूस फ्रॉम द थर्मल एंड न्यूक्लियर सोर्सेज ठीक है देन सरताज अजीज साहब ने गिव द स्टेटमेंट दैट दिस मेक्स 
was reversed from 60, 40 to 30, 70 in favor of thermal capacity based on imported fuel. This was the statement or this was the finding given by our Sartaj Z. Every year, uh, this ratio went further down or is 2080 ka hai. In winter months, the, as hydropower generation was reduced due to uh, low water flows in the rivers. Ab, controversially, jo aapki energy policy hai, uh, that dependent less upon your renewable resources. Ye toh shuru si dekh rahe ki agar renewable resources pe bahut sari kam, uh, bahut less dependence thi, and there was more dependence upon the imported oil, and it created a permanent fault in the country's energy conservation system. When you are importing the imported oil, so it is not giving you the sustainable kind of solution. In 1995, uh, only 27 IPPs were able to generate 6,335 megawatt of electricity. Job na, IPPs job 90s, 90s mein diye. Uske baad, 1998 ke ratio was stabilized by the policies enforced by Prime Minister Namashi at that point of time. Then comes your 2001, and in 2001, what happens? Your military government led by President Prez Musharraf and Prime Minister Shaukat Aziz while contributing uh, to the growth of domestic demand for electricity through the large scale provision of bank loans for the uh, purchase of air conditioners aap hain, jitna aap sakte and home appliances. And it did not add to any new capacity of your energy system. Take it. Let's move on. Uh, this was still your uh, the Musharraf regime what has happened so far kaha we have 1960s start hote hain kisna aapka energy mix change hota rehta hai and then we move on till 19 uh, 2001 now uh, alternative sources of energy ke andar kya aa hain the government of pakistan ye current scenario i'm talking about the government of pakistan has been taking all possible measures to ensure energy security and sustainable development in the country in Pakistan. That is an every government document that we talk about sustainable development even though we may not know that we sustainable development, what is actually the, uh, the stance when we are taking that sustainable development is Then the government is in its bid to diversify energy mix. Yes, that is very much true in the recent years now. Uh, solar panels are a lot When I was in um, Karachi, over there, if you see the new houses that are being on, flexible ke solar panels up lagar and like they are folding. It's not the big infrastructure, but in Gharon, uh, solar panels are install up. Kar rahe now they are putting up these uh, thal, uh, jo aapka desert hai over there. Some of the houses have started installing it. If you go on the GT road, they have started using the solar panels for these street lights. So we have moved towards alternative energy and it has been giving due attention towards the fast track development of alternative renewable energy and uh, resources in the country. So you can see that shift. But again, we don't see that plausible shift because it's an expensive deal. Then alternative energy development board, aapka board bana, under the ordinance was mandated to implement policies and programs and projects through private sector in Alter, uh, alternative and renewable energy to achieve sustainable economic growth. Encourage transfer of technology. Develop indigenous manufacturing base for ARE, ARE technology and promote provision of energy resources that are based on ARE resources. So in order to promote all that kind of thing, government has been giving subsidies, government has been trying to implement things. If you look at the Prime Minister, Secretary in Islamabad, they, are, uh, they have placed these solar panels over there. Some say that this is just a snob effect just to show that you are doing look at the energy consumption that they are using in terms of electricity. But yes, but I say that something is better than nothing. At least we are experimenting in terms of that you are cooler or something is working upon it. People are actually sensitized towards the using of alternative or renewable energy. We also seen in the previous case study when we Katie Bandar that they have started using wind power, we, they have started using the solar power panels for the electricity purposes and these communities are maintaining these alternative energy resources on their own or what thodi thodi monetary contribution they make it mandatory and then uh, they are maintaining these resources. So the, we have seen that shift. It's not just in words, in spirit also people have 
تھاٹ کہ اوکے دس از اے بیٹر تھنگ اینڈ گیون کہ کتنا زیادہ آپ کا اس کی سیٹ اپ کاسٹ وغیرہ ہوتی ہیں سو وی نیڈ اے کائنڈ آف بزنس ماڈل ہاؤ وی کین اپلائی گورمنٹ آف پاکستان ہیز بی ڈوئنگ اے لاٹ اینڈ دا پریزنٹ گورمنٹ از پوشنگ ایٹ بٹ ایز وی سے کہ اٹس ناٹ جسٹ آن دا پیپر اٹ ہیز ٹو بی ان دا اسپرٹ اینڈ پیپل نیڈ ٹو ایکسیپٹ اٹ لائک ان دا ویسٹ اف یو سی ان سوئٹزرلینڈ ان فرانس ان جرمنی دے آر ویری مچ ان ٹو دیز رینیوبلس دے آر ویری مچ یوزنگ دیم ایز اے پارٹ اینڈ پارسل ان ٹائمز آف سورسز آف انرجی بٹ پاکستان کے اندر بیکاز we had lots and lots of we were dependent upon these hydel dams therefore we have been depending upon that kind of uh, energy and we thought that okay it will cater the uh, the needs of the people but now uh, it has uh, it is not and there's a huge energy deficit what uh, between demand and supply so may 2010 ke andar kya hua اے ای ڈی بی کو یہ جو آپ کا الٹرنیٹو انرجی بورڈ تھا اٹ ہے اس کو مینڈیٹ دیا گیا کہ جی آپ نے الٹرنیٹو اور رینیوبل انرجی کو کمرشل پروجیکٹس میں اور یا جوائنٹ وینچر میں پبلک پرائیویٹ پارٹنرشپ کے انٹیز کے اندر آپ نے کیا کرنا ہے اس کو اپلائی کرنا ہے اور آپ نے ٹوینٹی ٹین کے اندر ہماری جو ٹو تھاؤزنڈ سکس کی جو جو آلٹرنیٹو انرجی رینیوبل انرجی کی جو پالیسی تھی اس کو ہم نے کیا کیا اپڈیٹ کیا اور سارے پروونسز میں جتنے اسٹیک ہولڈرس ہیں اس سے کر کے سو ٹو تھاؤزنڈ سکس میں آپ کی فرسٹ پالیسی رینیوبل انرجی کی بنتی ہے اور پھر ٹوینٹی ٹین کے اندر ہم نے اس کو اپڈیٹ کیا نا وٹ ہیپنس دیٹ یہ جو رینیوبل انرجی پالیسی تھی ٹو سکس کی جب ہم رینیوبل انرجی کی بات کرتے ہیں تو موسٹلی پیپل جیسے سولر ونٹ بٹ اٹس مور دین دیٹ سو وٹ اٹ یوزڈ واز اٹ واز ناٹ جسٹ اونلی سولر اٹ واز ناٹ ونڈ اٹ واز ہائیڈرو ویئر ایز اب جو ٹو تھاؤزنڈ ٹویلو کی جو پالیسی آئی ٹو تھاؤزنڈ ٹویلو میں پھر سے ہم نے اس کو اپڈیٹ کیا تو جو آلٹرنیٹو رینیوبل انرجی کی جو ٹیکنالوجیز ہیں اب وہ ونڈ کو بھی انکلوڈ کرتا ہے سولو کو بھی انکلوڈ کرتا ہے ہائیڈرو کو بھی کرتا ہے بایو گیس کو بھی کرتا ہے کو جنریشن ویسٹ ٹو انرجی جیو تھرمل اور اس نے بہت ایک پالیسی کے اندر یہ ہے کہ دے ہیو گیون کوئٹ اے نمبر آف اٹریکٹیو انسینٹیو سو دیٹ پیپل شوڈ ورک اپان اٹ کس کے لیے لوکل اینڈ فارن انویسٹرز وائر آفرنگ دیم اے لیول پلائنگ فیلڈ سو اٹ از ون آف دا ایریاز جو ہے ون کین میک ایز اے ٹیک اٹ ایز اے بزنس اپرچونیٹی بیکاز دس از ون آف دا نیسنٹ ایریاز بٹ اس کے اندر میں آپ کو بات بتاؤں گا لائک وی لیک ایکسپرٹیز مائی ایکسپیرینس پرسنل ایکسپیرینس ود سم آف مائی کولیگس ہو انوالو ان دس انسٹالنگ دیز رینیوبل انرجی انسٹرومنٹس ان دا تھل ڈیزرٹ ایریا سو واٹ دے ڈو از دیٹ یہ جو کمپنیز جو کلیم کرتی ہیں دیٹ اوکے دا دا سسٹم دیٹ وی آر گوئنگ ٹو انسٹال یو آپ کو اتنی انرجی دے گا یہ ہماری کیلکولیشنز ہیں اینڈ وین دے ایکچولی امپلیمنٹیڈ اٹس اے ہیوج گیپ سو وائی دیر از اے گیپ آئی ڈونٹ سے کہ دیر از اے پرابلم ود دا میکنزم بٹ اٹس اے ڈس آنیسٹی پیپل نو اٹ بٹ دا وے دے پرزینٹ اٹ وہ ہائپر ڈراما کر کے وہ بہت سارے انفلیٹیڈ فگرز بتا کے دے جسٹ گو فار اٹ اینڈ میک پیپل جسے کہتے ہیں فول آؤٹ آف بائی ٹیلنگ دیم کہ جی اتنی انرجی پروڈیوس کرے ایون دو دے آر ناٹ پروڈیوسنگ دیٹ مچ سو اٹس ناٹ اے لیک آف ایکسپرٹیز اٹس ناٹ اے لیک آف انفارمیشن بٹ اٹس آئی تھنک اٹس اٹس ڈس آنیسٹی ان ٹرمز آف دیز انسٹیٹیوشنز اور ان ٹرمز آف دیز فرمز ہو آر پرووائڈنگ دیز دیز سروسز ہو آر انسٹالنگ دیز رینیوبل انرجی ریسورسز آر ڈفرینٹ ایٹ ہاؤس اور لیول اور اس کے اندر ٹھیک ہے اب جو یہ رینیوبل انرجی جو ٹوینٹی ٹویلو کی جو ہے واٹ اٹ انوائٹس پرائیویٹ سیکٹر کو کیا کہتی ہے انوائٹس انویسٹمنٹ فرام دا پرائیویٹ سیکٹر وہ کیا کہتے ہیں کہ جی انڈیپینڈنٹ پاور پروجیکٹس فار سیل آف پاور ٹو دا گریڈ اونلی دین گریڈ اسپیل اوور پاور پروجیکٹس فار سیلف یوز اینڈ سیل آف یوٹیلٹی اور اس کے بعد کیپٹیو پاور پروجیکٹس فار سیلف اینڈ ڈیڈیکیٹڈ یوز اینڈ لاسٹ ون از آئسولیٹڈ پاور پروجیکٹس اس کے لیے انہوں نے انویسٹمنٹ مانگی ہوئی ہے دے انوائٹ انویسٹمنٹ ناؤ وین یو ہیو دس پالیسی یو نیڈ سم آف دا سپورٹیو میجرز اور یو کین کال دم ایز دا انسینٹیو واٹ کائنڈ آف انسینٹیو آر دیز نمبر ون نیو ونڈ کاریڈورز ان دا ایریاز آؤٹ سائڈ سینس ہیو بین آئیڈینٹیفائڈ دیٹ ہیز بین ورکڈ آؤٹ ریسورس اسسمنٹ آف دیز کاریڈورز انڈر وے اینڈ اے لارج نمبر آف ونڈ میجرنگ میسٹس ہیو بین انسٹالڈ ان دا فور پروونسز that you can see that this work has been done on ground also 
National grid code for wind power projects has been amended. It has been updated. Our grid integration plan to 2010 to 2015 for wind power project is developed by this alternative energy board or isko NTDC ne isko support kiya tha. Then, uh, our environmental study hai, that was conducted by ADB so that we can see which power projects are power projects ko wo, wind power projects ko support. Karta hai. And then guidelines for environmental assessments have also been developed. Uske baad, training and uh, training for bahut zyada capacity building was a zor diya gaya training and capacity building of partner departments like ntdc nepra pmd uh, discos provincial government departments have been arranged by aedb ye sara renewable energy ko promote karne ke liye this is these are the part of arrangements so these are the uh, support that has been given by this particular institution then memorandum of understanding kiske dimaan ge general electric which is a big um, International, uh, multinational company, I would say, and government of Pakistan has been signed. Kiskiliya that include the execution of power, wind power projects and setting up the manufacturing facility in the, within the country. We don't import current again, they want to sub kuch and the domestically up manufacture current. Then, local manufacturing of micro wind the turbine has been started. The manufacturing of large wind turbines have, is also being initiated and the turbine towers hain for the first project have been manufactured in Pakistan. World leading WTG manufacturers are also in talks with local investors and agencies to start full scale manufacturing facilities. So it's not just the screwdriver industries that you part and assemble karen, but we are trying to make these products over here. So as I said, Kiji, there's a hypothesis that as you energy, uh, renewable energy, ki taraf jate hain, it uh, increases the uh, demand for labor, it increases the demand for capital and ultimately leads to energy sufficiency apart, uh, uh, apart from having more economic growth. So renewable energy is not just catering to the needs of people but it's also creating a lot of opportunities where uh, people ga can go and do their business and make some local investments and having these international collaborations that is helping in terms of skill transfer or technology transfer. Now issues related to financing of projects have been resolved uh, by leading financing agencies Gon Gon Si Aagin, IFC Aagia, ADB Aagia, OPIC Aagia, ECO Trade Bank Aagia and they are offering Pakistan uh, some funding in terms of wind power projects. But problem is there existed always a little shyness. Our shyness kya thi? Uh, ARE technologies ki like agar main isko chota survey karun, to people don't trust it because we have never experimented it. We think that okay, jab light, uh, jab uh, sunlight khatam ho jayegi aur agar hawa na chali and this was when I was talking to these um, guys with the nuclear energy they said well it is a good source of energy, but it is undependable. You can't forecast that wind is always going You can't forecast that the sun is always going to shine like this and the weather is never going to change or something like that. The dependability of these wind power or solar is less. We can't say that these are the permanent sources of energy. So ADB, AEDB initiated a massive campaign uh, for the to create awareness of these technologies or is the media or stakeholders was involved here a number of international and national level exhibitions have been organized talk shows kiye radios pe radio pe programs kiye uske baad seminars kiye gaye conferences ki gaye so that we can have investment in the renewable energy sector and investors come and invest in these kind of projects all consumers can this so I see that there has been some kind of positive change in terms of uh, people have been uh, involved or people uh, are now sensitized and jo aapke jo rich houses and people with the higher income brackets they have started using these renewable energy and they feel that it's good form of uh, application. As a result that the government has uh, determined to develop the, uh, this uh, renewable energy sector and the AEDB, the uh, Alternative Energy Board, the country has made some significant progress in the development of 
considerable base of renewable energy technologies in the country, especially wind, solar, biomass, waste to energy, small mini micro hydro and biodiesel. That we have seen that if you compare it 10 years earlier, compared to it, as such, we never had such kind of energy crisis. If you look so now we can see that people have started using these uh, technologies. Now they are geared towards it and it, it's a good thing. Let's come to another important uh, part which is quite pertinent to us as uh, public policy, public administration students and that is our new energy policy, energy security policy that is 2008 se 10th ka review karte hai. Okay, I'm abhi 2013 The story begins, we ended up in 2001 when Musharraf sahab came to so 2005 can the Prime Minister Shokat Aziz announced that we have a long term energy security program which should be aimed at the development of power infrastructure from all energy sources. That was his, well let me just see, yes. This policy relied on privatizing the energy sector, privatize by international mega energy corporations. Con uh, Controversially, this program was aimed to raise dependence. It raised dependence on imported oil from Arab countries and uh, for power generation to be increased by 50.1% by 2013. But the reliance on this imported oil started increasing. Yeh the 2005 mein hua. 2006 Prime Minister Aziz, Shakat Aziz, held conversation with officials of the Saudi minister. Uh, Ministry of Petroleum and invited Ali Al Naimi to invest in the country's energy sector. We try, we tried to have the foreign investors in the energy sector. 2007, an amount of approximately 12 billion uh, rupees for power production related projects which remained unutilized. Allocate kiya gaya, like unutilized new one. In his last policy statement, uh, Shokat Zabki last policy statement, he called for the banning of neon signs. Uske baad market uh, places aapki no baje band ho jaya karenge if you remember. And such policy enforcement was harshly resisted. Or isko logo ne baut resist kiya tha. I'm very much, I saw what happened in Lahore that people resisted and they were very much against the government. By the left wing parties such as People's Party, Communist Party, and the labor unions, they were all against such policy. Up 2008, can there general elections and the mismanagement and weak policy leads to repetitive cycle of load shedding in the country. Then responding to massive demonstration against load shedding and the growing power shortages in the country, Abhavare Prime Minister Agarwaha Yusuf Raza Gilani and he announced the energy policy on 22nd April 2010. The policy was announced after the Prime Minister Gilani had held three days of national energy a conference Raki Islamabad Kendar and Energy experts from all the country were here, were there. They discussed what and causes of power crisis ki and in Pakistan and what kind of steps you steps to and to relief. Hone ke liye. On immediate effects, again, the gaseous uh, neon lights and signs were banned and the official weekend was extended from one to two days in an attempt to, energy, to conserve electricity. This was the uh, action that was being taken. Up 2010 to 13, under this policy, several attempts were made by Gilani government to privatize the energy sector. They thought, okay, let's privatize it, that is a better. And uh, devised by a finance minister, Mare Uswakathe Abdul Hafiz Sheikh, uh, the program failed. The pro we don't see that it was a solution and it failed to resolve energy electricity shortage which private energy companies failed to maintain and upgrade despite being part of their contract. Private companies never delivered what it was being under the contract. Now what happens that after much criticism or public demonstration in 2012, PPP government ne kya kya ke decided to nationalize the energy sector and issued clear directives to regulate the energy corporations to produce power generations. Ab uh, here we come to 2013, Masaddaq Malik sahab aate hain and we asked him that okay you be the federal minister for water and power 
گورنمنٹ آف پاکستان کے پہلے آلٹرنیٹو انرجی بورڈ میں بھی تھے اینڈ ہی واز کنسیڈر کہ چلو ہی مے گیو سم انرجی سولیوشنس فار دا کنٹری بیکاز ہی ہیڈ دا انٹرنیشنل ایکسپیرینس دین ان 2014 دا نیشنل انرجی پالیسی 2013 سے جو ٹوٹل فائیو ایئرس کی جو تھی وہ ہم نے بنائی اینڈ اٹ ایمس ٹو اچیو دا سوشل ڈیولپمنٹ اینڈ پروسپیرٹی آف دا کنٹری ہائی لائٹڈ ارس روشن پاکستان جو ہمارا پاکستان مسلم لیگ نماز کا جو مینڈیٹ تھا جو ان کا مینیفیسٹو تھا دیر آر سرٹن سیلینٹ فیچرز آف آر نیشنل آف آر نیشنل انرجی پالیسی اب وہ جو فیچرز ہیں وہ کیا ہیں Uh, and if you look at the bra- in the brackets, uh, that is uh, the criticism that we are making on the. I'll just read it out so that uh, it's, it clears more rather than you just uh, watching it on the screen. Power sector subsidy will would be phased out till it is put to an end. Uh, اب اس پہ یہ ہے کہ انسٹاپبل فلڈ آف انفلیشنری پریشر وڈ کریٹ ہیو ورک ان دا لائف آف کامن پیپل ان دا کنٹری ٹھیک ہو گیا اگر آپ اس سبسڈی کو فیز آؤٹ کر لیتے ہیں تو اٹ ول پٹ اے برڈن آن پیپل دین اینڈ ٹو لوڈ شیڈنگ وڈ بی میڈ پاسبل ٹل ٹوینٹی سیونٹین دس از دا پرامس اکارڈنگ ٹو دا پالیسی اینڈ سرپلس الیکٹریسٹی There should be smiles on your face because we are hopeful that by the end the policy expires 2018 again that we, will, we are going to have surplus po- uh, energy. Kisi ne aapko baat batai that by 2018 we are going to have the more right now the worst energy deficit at that point of time we are going to have energy surplus. Well, without proper utilization of available natural resources, mix of an alternative energy resources and above all creation of strategic balance in power generation chain it is not going to be possible i find ke ji surplus aapka nahi hoga if we are consu- our consumption patterns are going to remain the same if our uh, there's no proper utilization so just by saying in words ke 2018 ke andar energy surplus ho jayega that's not the case then uh, government ne kya kaha hai iska ke privatization of government owned power plants and little power distributing companies ٹھیک ہے یہ جو ڈسٹریبیوٹنگ کمپنی ڈسکوز ان کو کہتے ہیں ناٹ دا ڈسکو دا ڈانسنگ ون بٹ کام ایسے ہی ہو رہا ہے وہاں پہ ڈسکوز ہی ہو رہے ہیں برنگنگ دا ڈبل ڈیجٹ کاسٹ آف جنریشن ٹو سنگل ڈیجٹ ٹھیک ہے یہ بھی ایک ہم نے کلیم کیا اپنی انرجی پالیسی کے اندر بٹ لیولس آف پروڈکٹیوٹی اینڈ ایفیشنسی آف پرائیویٹ سیکٹر آف دا کنٹری از ناٹ سو انکریجنگ ٹو میٹ دا ڈیمانڈس ٹھیک ہے یہ ہمارا ایک بوٹل نیک ہے کہ اگر آپ اپنے پرائیویٹ سیکٹر کو دیکھیں اب کیا کہتے ہیں ہماری پالیسی یہ کہتی ہے ری اسٹرکچرنگ آف وابڈا نیپرا بٹ آئی تھنک اٹ مے پے ڈیویڈنس پرووائڈ آل دا کی اپائنٹمنٹ ول بی میڈ ان میرٹ اینڈ ود آؤٹ اینی پولیٹیکل کمپرومائز ابھی بھی اگر نیپرا کا آپ چیئرمین دیکھیں آل دیز کی پوزیشن دیٹ از مور آف اے پولیٹیکل رادر دین میرٹ بیسڈ بٹ اف یو آر ایبل ٹو گیٹ اے پرسن ہو از آن میرٹ ہو نوز کہ انرجی کے ایشوز کیا ہیں ایک ٹیکنوکرائٹ اگر کوئی آ جاتا ہے دین It might work. Then oil and gas regulatory, OGRA, adjustment of outstanding dues owned by government and privately owned bodies through federal adjusters. Now, this is why financial discipline would hold the key of success. If we have financial discipline, we will take it away. Then formation of regional transmission and power trading system would be made. Okay? لیکن رول آف پروینشیل گورمنٹس ول بی کروشل ان ڈیز ٹو کم پروینشیل گورمنٹ کے اوپر یہ زیادہ برڈن پڑے گئے ان کی رسپانسبلٹی زیادہ بنتی ہے ناؤ اٹ فوکسز دا گورمنٹس ایفرٹ آن ریڈیوسنگ دا ویٹڈ ایوریج کاسٹ فار پروڈیوسنگ الیکٹریسٹی بائی شفٹنگ چیپر فیولس اینڈ کراکنگ ڈاؤن مور فورس فلی آن دا تھیفٹ ٹھیک ہے دین اٹ پروپوزز چارجنگ higher rates from industrial and upper middle class household consumers who have heavy electricity use for whom the higher travel uh, tariff coupled uh, with a guarantee to uninterrupted supply would still be cheaper than running backup generators. Take an agra on higher charge car length still it's better than kegrab generators go run up car. It proposes privatization of state owned energy companies to reduce influence on corrupt labor unions. Take a privatization order so that you have a government your labor unions and they don't put pressure on it. Now, the philosophical inputs regarding the policy. 
Philosophical inputs are always good for reading but hard to implement, especially when there is a chain of corruption. This is our policy part, but it's very really hard. That's why we call them as the philosophical inputs. It has some philosophical inputs too. This is our energy policy, which is our current in 2013-18. I'm talking about that one. It speaks about importance of honesty, transparency, financial discipline, and accountability, which are parts of parcels of bygone history in our parts of the world. We don't see. You can't bring that. Abhi maine ye baat pehna that even the private companies who are providing these renewable energy solutions, whatever they claim, it's not given in, in spirit. So what about baat hai ki jo financial discipline hoga, honesty hogi, transparency hogi? It's just a philosophical thing. Or maybe we have become so much pessimistic that we don't seek something of that sort will be implemented or we are going to have that kind of solution. Then it has a long term goals aiming to build a power generation capacity that can meet country energy requirements in a sustainable manner. Mushkila. Then it also aims to create a new culture of achievement, rights and responsibility and to form a new culture of energy conservation and responsibility, ensure a generation of inexpensive and affordable electricity for domestic commercial and industrial use, minimize pilferage uh, and adulteration of fuel supply and promote world class efficiency in the power generation. In words, it looks amazing. Uh, Shall we be hopeful? Yes, there is no harm in being hopeful, but will it happen? I'm not sure whether in my generation I can see that energy sufficiency or not. Moreover, it envisages creating a cutting edge transmission network. Cutting edge transmission network, minimizing the financial losses across the system, aligning the ministries involved in the energy sector and improving their governance. Take it. Again, it's a very good uh, philosophical input. Let's see. Now it's a result-oriented policy. It is envisioned to build energy cities and corridors and support public-private partnership for coal and run-off river projects. Okay. Then the government will also redesign and strengthen the national NTC uh, national grid transmission network and to build a regional transmission and power trading system. Then the government would like to limit its role to policy making. Yehi pe aapka chance ziyada hai. As public administration students, you know, government gathers, I don't want to get involved in the public policy making unless necessary. Service delivery will be promoted take a, through fearlessly competitive and transparent private sector. We feel our private sector is going to give you lots of uh, incentives and they're going to really going to revolutionize things. Ab, agar aap hoke, thank you, uh, these are the companies when they say efficiency, the efficiency के बारे में policy क्या कहती है कि efficiency को किस तरीके से वो interpret करते हैं that it would be based on merit, order, transparency, automation and accountability. When they say there is going to be competition, it would be institutionalized uh, through the help of upfront tariff and competitive bidding and key client management. कभी अब Lesco, Desco, Kesco के offices में जा कर देखें then you will see how the client management is being done and we are saying that it's going to create competition. Then infrastructure. It will be developed and incentives will be provided to attract greater private sector incentives. Yes, that is the government, Kagra, BOIE and different to what they can. In order to attract investment, we have like gone by the uh, off the limits. So, if, India go dekho, if you look at um, Sri Lanka, if you look at in the East Asia, Thailand, the way they are uh, uh, competitive in terms of infrastructure, Pakistan doesn't even stand nearby. Then tariff, it will be a world-class regularity authority. Upfront tariffs will be set for low-cost fuel and competitive bidding will be used to decrease the costs further. Most of the philosophical inputs like them, but this is how they interpret it. The new national policy of 2013 tells the roadmap for attracting the domestic and foreign investments in the power sector. But it gives you a roadmap, it gives you the things that what government is forcing in the next five years. So, as I said, it's a good sector, but uh, it requires lots of revamping, some strict fiscal discipline, and then you can attract investment in this particular energy sector. It explains different means to increase power generation capacity in the days to come. As I said, by 2018, we are going to be energy surplus. It introduces new uh, uh, 
सिस्टम ऑफ प्राइस डिटर्मिनेशन फॉर द हाउस होल्ड एंड कमर्शल यूटिलाइजेशन ये उसके अंदर उन्होंने मेथड दिए then it gradually shifts pakistan's energy mix towards low cost sources like hydro gas coal nuclear and biomass local and foreign investment will aggressively be sought for small and medium run of uh, river hydro projects then selected hydro projects under development will be positioned for privatization and multilateral agencies will be invited to partner in the large infrastructure in you know, hydro projects like kalabagh and that we can't do it all alone we need some international partners but unfortunately uh, things have not progressed the way the policy says ab jo hamari operational strategies hain in the our energy policy number one that is generational transmission and distribution generational ko aap kis tarike se kehte hain when we say that this is our generational operational strategy establishing plant efficiency through external heat rate testing building a merit order accordingly and allocating fuel to more meritorious plants so it will be more competition based allocations will be made public online to increase the transparency and strategy calls for privatization and o&m based leasing of gencos then the transmission transmission ke andar hum kya karte hain installation and up, upgrade scada software to optimize transmission and monitor its losses dispatch will be based on economic order and internal audit will be established on dispatch and payment plants will be built closer to the load centers high voltage transmission lines will be expanded and 220 kv rings around cities will be strengthened this is our operational strategy for transmission now coming on to the distribution the performance contract will uh, will be signed with the heads of distribution companies and their respective boards focused on reducing uh, distribution losses due to technical reason theft and lack of recovery slash collection smart meters will be smart meters abhi tak aaye but still uh, as such uski implementation nahi hui smart meters will be installed at the feeder level profit and loss accounts will to be managed at free day level and accountability will be appropriated to executive engineer so what we are talking about more transparency more accountability taaki aapka theft or sustainability ki taraf aap jaye wo thi mari operational strategies which included your transmission which included your distribution etc and now we are talking about a governance strategy government strategy governance strategy mein kya rehti hai aapki financial एफिशंसी स्ट्रैटी आ जाती है वो क्या है इट इज टूवर्ड्स पनिशिंग प्राइवेट डिफॉल्टर्स एंड प्रपोज सर्विंग द इलेक्ट्रिक कनेक्शन ऑफ डिफॉल्टर्स आफ्टर सिक्सटी डेज ऑफ नॉन पेमेंट के जी आपका कनेक्शन काट दिया जाएगा एंड ओनली रिकनेक्टिंग दैम टू द ग्रेड विद प्री पेड मीटर्स द ऑन गोइंग फेडरल एंड प्रोवेंशियल गवर्नमेंट ज्वाइंट स्ट्राइक अगेंस्ट इलेक्ट्रिसिटी एंड गैस थीव आर क्रिएटिंग हिस्ट्री now external collection agencies may also be sourced to improve the cash flows so any external agencies they are planning overall hauling of nepra and ogra to improve efficiencies is a must to the success of new energy policy it is predicted that after the successful execution of the new energy policy it will reduce the supply demand gap by 2017 moreover there would be uh, power surplus in 2018 that we have already talked about and the cost of power generation will be reduced to a single digit per unit and efficiency improvements in transmission distribution will decrease the burden of power by to the end consumer already covered now coming on to the concluding remarks that how we look at the energy policy or hamari energy dependence kaise kam ho sakti hai and uh, if you're talking about that becoming an energy uh, which is like hum hum energy security kaise achieve kar sakte hain apparently the overarching target of the new energy policy to increase generation kahan se uh, to the current 12200 megawatt say 26800 megawatt in the medium term and reduce average cost from 14 यूनिट से दस रुपए पे लाने के लिए 
bringing in efficiency, merit order and transparency in the entire spectrum of the power sector is possible, but merely on papers. I'm not saying that it's a bad policy, but remember that when you make a policy, if you, remember, if you recall uh, the old lectures, I said it's like social outcome. Hona it should be serving the larger humanity. It should not be just a little pocketing. It should not be just a uh, document. The policy is very good. Because remember, uh, even if you are not a student of public administration and uh, give you some issue, policy maybe you are able to do that. And you can make a very good policy. But the real challenge comes ke either that policy can be implemented or not. Can we really work on such a policy which can give us the sustainability, which is really transparent, just kind of a political pressure now? That is difficult. That okay, it's a very good term in terms of philosophy. But when it's come to the practical implementation, are we really considering the factors which are cultural, hai, political, hai, social, which are in Pakistani context, or are we are just making the policy in isolation? So practically, it would be possible until and unless optimal utilization of hydropower is geared. Big fishes of electricity and gas theft must be dealt with iron hands. It should not be that you have it and then there's just one phone call and you now send them back to homes with uh, great respect and by apologizing. Sorry sir, I did tha because I made a mistake. That should not be, that is not transparency. That is not how things work out. Then, uh, call for accelerating power imports from neighboring nations like 1000 megawatt from central asian states 500 megawatt from india 1000 megawatt from iran and restructure and renovate and or replace the public sector generation plant to public private partnership may work uh, ek paper aaya tha and uh, as i said ki ji jaisa aapka energy policy ke mein partnerships aapki change ho jati hain public private public se hum transfer kar rahe hain public private and then ultimately transmission to uh, transition to the private sector so uh, do not uh, there's no harm in uh, having energy imports from uh, your neighboring country because over there it's cheaper like in the central asia a lot of countries are uh, having these energy trades and they are gaining from it because look at the net trade really helps you in terms of so energy trade is helping a lot so we should try this of having some uh, uh, energy imports from other countries. Then supply of energy from Turkmenistan, Afghanistan, Pakistan and India. That is a TAPI. Iran, Pakistan dream pipeline. And even India would badly suffer from emerging geopolitical and geostrategic problems. Then durable peace and political stability in Afghanistan would be crucial in terms of importing energy from CIS. In case of uh, IP, US leg intellectual property, US legislations and diplomatic pressure would not be easy to crack. Okay, So that actually finishes up our uh, energy part. And uh, what we have looked into, because government has energy mix, tha, we have moved towards renewable energy. Government has some really good propositions, but uh, you we don't need we I doubt that your evolutionary moves hai, and the way we say that the policy is there but uski jo practical impl implementation hai, that will be a little bit harder otherwise these will be just philosophical inputs Here's transparency aegi, accountability aegi, energy sufficiency aegi, because a lot of things have to be done and it is not going to be done by the government alone the your private sector has to be playing an important and equal part. Then your uh, government sector uh, has to be vibrant. Then it should be open to suggestions. It should not be that the government has a stakeholder meeting and the inputs are the output you are saying that we have to incorporate Feel which is again the government needs to have a big heart in terms of understanding what are the problems at the grassroot levels and how these energy crises can be solved not adapted okay na ki ji aap unko solve kare 
सिंगल डिजिट में लेके जाना है आई में प्राइव पब्लिक प्राइवेट पार्टनरशिप्स करनी है दो थिंग्स रिक्वायर्ड लॉर्ड ऑफ एफर्ट पॉलिसी इज गॉड देर इज नो बैड इन द पॉलिसी इवन रिन्यूएबल एनर्जी की पॉलिसी भी अच्छी है बट द रियल क्वेश्चन कम्स दैट आई द वेन वी आर इम्प्लीमेंटिंग इट आर दी getting the desired goals or not if you are not then there is no use of such policy but i'm um, uh, being a uh, student of public policy one thing just makes me happy that at least we have some road map at least we have some document which we can look into kiji chalo it depends upon your leadership that how it is going to be implemented you know waki implement ho raha hai to are we getting the desired results or not but the real question is that whether it is being implemented or not and how it is being implemented but we have the shukar uh, alhamdulillah that we have now climate change policy and we have this uh, energy policy and now we are working on the terrorism and this national security policy also so these policies really help you in terms of identifying and in terms of seeing that how you what kind of country we are looking after 5 years how pakistan is going to be out of 5 years because that is the your actually road map that is actually your vision that has been translated into black and white so it's not just for one person it's not just for one class it's not just for one city it's for the whole country so your whole country benefits from that particular policy so the you should, as students of public administration we should know how to deconstruct a policy and how to analyze it and how to see that we how it is going to be implemented and what kind of results are it's going to give uh, well ladies and gentlemen our uh, module or our lecture on energy finishes over here i would uh, request you that do go through this energy policy of 2013 to 18 and if you're interested in doing your thesis or analysis of such policy that would be really good because Now you can use this technique of discourse analysis or any other by analyzing it. How much this policy is in line with the needs of people? Because some stakeholders to get them, but stakeholders are of so many kind. But the major so uh, sufferers are your general public. So is it help? Is it going to help the people or not? And so, how five years' ke goals hamne rakhe hain? Either they are too big or it's easy to implement. With that, I thank you all and uh, see you in lecture number. 30